When it comes to competitor research, many businesses purely just look at their competitor's website or collateral to try and gain an understanding of what they do and what they can do better. But competitor research isn't just about seeing how good their website is compared to yours. You need to focus on how you differentiate your services, marketing and value. You may currently be the market leader in your sector, but failing to keep, keep an eye on the competition still puts you at risk of being left behind. So you need to avoid getting comfortable and especially try to understand the competition in the good times so you can stay ahead of the game. A comprehensive competitor analysis helps you understand your competitors' strengths and weaknesses in your marketplace so you can implement effective strategies to improve your competitive advantage. Your business could have hundreds if not thousands of competitors. It's impossible to analyse them all but you'll find that some are of more interest than others because of your niche or your geographical location. To enable you to really scope out the competition, you need to understand a lot about their business and their marketing performance. This means understanding their products, their services, their pricing and how they operate, looking at their, how customers perceive working with them, understanding their financial position, are they profitable, expanding or scaling back, how do they market the business, what's good about their marketing, what's bad and what can you do better, how do they rank in terms of customer service, employer retention, quality of products or services and resources, and what opportunities are there to differentiate your business. Finally, what do you do better than them? How can you make ground on them from a marketing perspective? For example, you may look to adapt to new channels, dominate the search market, or aim to become a thought leader in your industry. The first port of call is to actually look at some of their marketing collateral, and that means their website, their brochures, their events that they're putting on, their digital marketing, etc. This will give you a lot of insight as to what products they're pushing, how they're positioning themselves, um, and how they're trying to differentiate from you. Next is to look at their social media channels to learn how they're promoting themselves and how they're engaging with customers and prospects. Is there any particular strategies that are getting a lot of engagement? Are they getting a lot of positive or negative reviews? This will help shape how you can take a leap in them from a social perspective. Evaluate their content too. How are they using blogs, social content, video or long form content? Is it strong? Is it weak? Is there a way that you can be better? Examine how they're covered in the press. A lot of information about your competitors can be found in both industry and local press to be able to understand what they're doing and the, and the key markets they're focused on. You can also scour government resources and databases too to find a lot of information about financial performance, the company size, services offered and much more. But one of the most important ways and the most valuable ways is to actually interview your own customers, prospects, partners and employees potentially to learn more about them. Many of them may have worked with them or for them in the past or been a, been a customer of them, which will give you first-hand information from those who've worked with them. You can also review all their digital marketing to con conduct a thorough audit of everything they're doing from a search perspective, from a paid perspective, from a social perspective, so you can understand what strategy you need to employ to take the lead on them. These are just a few of the questions you should ask when evaluating your competitor's marketing performance. To learn more about building a marketing strategy from the ground up, watch the rest of our videos.